Okay, dear students, let us see this question now. A mass attached to a string rotates in a gravitational field with a constant period in a vertical plane. Now, the time period is constant. It means like you are supposed to neglect the losses. So, there are no losses. So, it keeps her moving in a vertical circle. And um, it's a vertical circle. Another thing to note here. Okay. So, now what? How do the tension in the string and the kinetic energy of the mass compare at P and Q? So this is the point P and this is point Q. So my dear students, now I'm going to give you a little information about the vertical circle. Please do listen to this information properly. I'm going to give you some ready-made formulas for you that are supposed to be used in the topic of a vertical circle. So this is the top position. So what generally happens here is like this becomes the tension in the string. This is the velocity at the top and uh, here in the vertical in the vertical circle this tension at the top is generally taken as zero so this becomes the limiting case that the tension at the top should be equal to zero and the tension at the velocity at the top will be equal to root of g r where g is the gravity and r is the radius of the circle so this is r so this is the velocity at the top and at the bottom what happens now the velocity becomes root of 5 g r Okay, if you can remember these formulas, just remember. And the tension here, it becomes maximum. Maximum. And that is equal to 6 times weight. Okay. And here, the tension is 0, which is minimum. Okay. And now, at this point, the velocity vector is upside. And here, the velocity is given by root 3 gr. And the tension here is like this. And so the tension will be equal to 3 mg. So if you have this much information available with you, I think you can almost do all the questions related with the topic of vertical circle. The tension in the string now, you can see, is it greater at Q or at P? This is 6 mg, this is 3 mg. So it is greater at Q. And what about the kinetic energy? So you have to see the velocity. So here the velocity is more that is root of 5 g r. So the kinetic energy is greater at Q than P. Otherwise also if like as people say that if you are doing the paper one question in IB, you need not to get into, you need not to get too technical here. You need not to get into formulas and all that. You can just um, see the question and you can guess it and you can do those questions then that is a separate case if you want to do like that if you want to try that method it's fine but this is the proper mathematical method that i'm giving you so with this hope that this information will be of some use to you in your exam this is professor varun please subscribe to my youtube channel all the best